Another restructured deal for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, this is from this morning. Um, cornerback Darius Slay has been restructured. So his cap, you know, so his figure uh, going into this year was $15.75 million. They reduced at the six points, uh, $6.1 million, And they save a little over $9 million just from this restructure. Okay. Now... All the moves that are said and done, Alshon Jeffrey, Malik Jackson getting restructured, Deshaun Jackson getting released, obviously with uh, Ertz getting re you know released soon, um, Jason Kelsey restructure, the, the, you know Fletcher Cox was restructured earlier this year. So I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, different things that have happened now with restructures. I mean, obviously, like I have to give Howie credit on the restructures because most of the time, like. These players could say, no, you can't restructure me. And then that results in mostly a release or a trade. But I could tell these players do want to be here. They want to fight and they want to get this thing going, get this little retool going. Um, and just, you know, let's move on to 2021 with new things and with a younger, younger squad this year. So seeing all these moves, um, you know, I think this puts them, I think, uh, you know, 35, you know, left in, in cap space over the cap, I think. and. Um, and we're gonna get this thing going uh, with Darius Slay. I'm, I'm, you know, because he was a big cap hit. I said he's a big contract. That's one of the big contracts that's on this team. So, um, to restructure him, give him more guaranteed money, you know, and then pushing some money down the road, um, really does help free up some cap space. And it really does help. You don't have to release or trade any players. And, you know, this is what what it results in. Hyro has been doing a good job with this, definitely. So I got to give him credit for that because he's always known how to restructure players. And, you know, most players that are here never really turn down restructures. Uh, whatever's good for the team is good for the team. That's it. So I didn't know what was going to happen to Darius Slay in 2021. I didn't know if they were going to trade him. I didn't know if it was the idea to trade him. Um, but I've come up with videos uh, discussing that. And, um, you know, uh, the secondary needs work. He's the only player that has any value. Like Avante Maddox is pretty much, you know, just been playing horrible. I'm kind of almost done with Avante Max. He should just change positions. We have no more other corners. Trayvon LeBlanc is gone in free agency. Um, you know, you have no safeties. Really, Kevon Wallace isn't proven yet. Rudy Ford is just special. Um, you know. Raylan Arnold, I don't think he's going to be nothing more than a practice squad player, but he could surprise me. I don't really know. So there's a lot of different things that could happen um, in this offseason. Those are not done restructuring. I heard there are rumors out there that Lane Johnson will be restructured as well. And I think, and definitely Lane's all for it. It doesn't even matter at this point. Um, so there's, you know, there's good things to take out of restructures and there's bad things to take out of restructures. But what it does is it helps, um, you know, Players don't have to agree to restructures. I think that literally don't have to, and um, you know, which ends up a not necessarily a pay cut, but they're getting more guaranteed money up front. So with Darius Slay, he's very valuable. But I, I really want them. You know, Darius Slay, I think only has like two years left on his contract. I think only signed what a three year four. I forgot how many years he signed for, but you know, he's getting older now, and I still think he's a fantastic corner, but. You know, uh, they need to put in good pieces around him. Don't make Darius Slay the only one that could do anything on the field uh, for the next couple of years because we really need to get as much use out of Darius Slay as possible, um, you know, for the next couple of years and put some good pieces around him and, um, you know, get this defense going. Jonathan Gann as a DC, you know, hopefully he plays these corners a lot better this year. I don't get off topic with all that, but go on and on about it. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Another restructure for the Philadelphia Eagles. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll see you guys later. Kicks going up, follows fly. Peace out, guys.